All right, uh, we'll discuss uh, the derivative of the power of x. Uh, the first formula for differential calculus says that the derivative of a constant is equal to zero. When we speak of a constant that is a uh, numerical value, and the derivative that is understood zero. Second formula, the derivative of the power of x, of n rather, the derivative of constant c times x d n, meaning your n is your exponent, then to multiply n times c, that is cn, x to the n to the minus 1. And third formula to discuss the derivative of two equations will be the derivative of the first equation plus the derivative of the second equation. Now to illustrate this power of x, okay, from this equation, all right, find the derivative of y with respect to x, where this stands for the word derivative. So for this equation, all right, the first thing for you to do is to remove your parentheses using your algebra. All right, algebra, algebra first formula. Y will be to multiply, that would be 2 times 1, that would be 2, x, 2 plus 3, that would be to the big power, then minus 1 from that will be x to the third power. All right, in order to, um, uh, in order to follow, uh, uh, that would be the derivative of y with respect to x will be, that would be your c, 2 times your exponent, that would be 5 times x, to the 5 to the minus 1 using formula number 2 okay then uh, minus numerical value here will be 1 multiplied it by your exponent 3 times x to the third to the minus 1 okay in algebra that the derivative y with respect to x now will be to multiply that will be 10 with the product where x take the difference will be 4 then minus 3 times 1 will be 3 x to minus 1 uh, will will give us square. All right, that is your total answer. All right. Illustration number two, where y is equal to x squared then plus bx then plus c. Note that a, b, c are constant. Okay, when we speak of a constant, this is a numerical value, and the derivative of a constant is equal to zero. So, the derivative of y now with respect to x will be equal to multiply a multiplied it by 2 times x to the uh, to the minus 1 then plus uh, you have the numerical the exponent for x is 1 so that would be b multiplied it by 1 times x to the 1 to the minus 1 and not the derivative of a constant is equal to 0 all right to simplify where dy divided by dx will be equal to multiply that would be now to a x if you take the difference that would be to the 1 then plus b times 1 times uh, b times 1 is b times x if you should take the difference of that 1 minus 1 it will be 0 all right remember that in algebra that any quantity or any term raised to 0 exponent is equal to 1 so meaning to say this will be 2a x then plus b multiplied it by 1 based on algebra so the derivative now y with respect to x now will give us 2ax plus b okay all right all right for example to take now the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, go pin down, yeah? Go pin down. Uh, 4 times negative 2 will be negative a times x to the minus 2 to the minus 1. Next, negative 1 times 3 will give us negative 3 times x to the minus 1 to the minus 1. The derivative of the constant is 0. Alright, for your total solution now, that would be negative 8 times x. Negative plus negative will be negative 3. Then you have there minus 3x, negative 1 plus negative 1 will give us negative 2. But, nagugwa po ka po yung ayun ko, okay, that from the derivative y with respect to x, according to algebra, if I'm going out to bring it down this one, papaba tayo to make it a positive exponent, it will give us negative 8 all over x to the positive 3, minus 3 all over x raised to the positive 2. Okay, watch out! Well, for uh, the formula power of x, now no, this is a uh, radical notation. So the first thing for you to do is to translate radical to exponential. All right, according to algebra, this will be x. If I take exponent, that would be two raised to two raised to the three uh, to the third power uh, two raised to the two times other minus three multiplied by converting radical to exponent. That would be to the one third minus five. Meaning. This two equation is just the same. Uh, this is uh, the exponential uh, notation that is radical notation. Okay, for quantity calculation. 
that the derivative point now with respect to x will give us your exponent that would be to all over 3 times your numerical value there 1 times x to the 2 third to the minus 1 then minus 3 times your exponent that would be 1 third times x to the 1 third to the minus 1 the derivative constant is 0 formula number 1 so I to simplify that would be 2 third times 1 is still 2 third times x, we know uh, take the difference of that will be 3 minus 2 that would be negative 1 third then I cancel uh, 3 from 3 that's it, that is negative x raised to minus 1 third minus 1 is negative uh, 2 thirds now or alright if you uh, want to bring it down alright that would be what, 2 a third times 1 all over x raised to the 1 third then uh, minus uh, 1 all over x raised to the positive 2 third or in other words this will be 2 times 1 that would be 2 all over 3 times that would be 3 x raised to the 1 third minus 1 all over x raised to the 2 third ok question ok alright uh, next formula to discuss the derivative of a product alright product is multiplication u times b alright so when you differentiate u times b the derivative of u times b will be the first is u differentiate the second dv dx plus the second is b derivative of the first term will be du divided by dx ok to illustrate this formula alright here alright for uh, example number one now instead of using or clear to acquire uh, this whole binomial alright we go directly to differential calculus now the derivative of y now with respect to x will be the first, this is the first, this is the second, okay? The first, x squared minus 1, derivative of the second, okay? How do we differentiate that? 2 times 2 will be 4, x, 2 minus 1 will be 2, the 1. The derivative of the constant is 0, okay? Plus, second, the 2, x squared minus 3, differentiate the first. The derivative of the derivative is 2x. Derivative constant is 0. Alright, now you go to, this is a calculus. We go to algebra. When you multiply that will be 4x to the third power. You multiply that will be minus 4x. Plus, multiply. 2 times 2 will give us 4x raised to the third power. You multiply that will be minus 6x. Now, we, when you combine similar values now, will give us, to add this one, 4 plus 4 will give us 8x to the third power. You have to combine 6 from 4 minus 10x. Okay, question. Next, you are given a product and a radical notation. So as usual, you translate this to an exponential form before you differentiate. So algebra, when we and y is x, multiply it by 1 minus x raised to the positive. Well, now, okay, you go to calculus. The derivative y now with respect to x will be the first, the first, the first x. Differentiate the second, okay, that will be 1 half multiplied by your u, 1 minus x to the 1 half to the minus 1. You differentiate that 1, the derivative goes to itself, the derivative that will be negative 1. Because the derivative of the term with respect to itself is 1, okay. Then plus the second is x minus uh, 1, uh, 1, uh, 1 minus x rather to the 1 half multiplied by the derivative of the first times 1, okay. Now next, algebra, this will be x multiplied by 1 up times 1 minus x, okay, if you subtract that out, that will be negative 1 up, multiplied by negative 1 times, when you multiply this, that will be plus your x plus, uh, sorry, 1 minus x to the positive 1 up, now still in 1 up, here, x times 1, times negative 1 will give us negative x now note that this is a negative exponent we try to bring it down that will be all of it that is 2 then 2 times 1 minus x to the positive 1 up that will be 1 positive ok plus the quantity 1 minus x raised to the positive 1 up remember that uh, this is a fraction added by a quantity so as you saw as you study in your k12 list kamu denominator 2 times 1 minus x to the positive 1 up will divide from that and divide 1 times your numerator is negative x then remember that there is a denominator one there ok you divide that would be times your numerator will give us plus 2 ok 
one up plus one up will give us one times one minus x. Okay, simplify further. Dari pada buah ini, now in respect to x will give us okay negative x. Then two times one will be positive two. You multiply two from that will be negative x divided by two times one minus x. Okay, raise to the positive. Okay, sir. All right, now when you will multiply, right? Sorry, that when you multiply two from that will be okay. Two times one is two. You multiply that will be negative. Ah, negative two x. Okay, so. Here, for your total solution, I'll be one divided by the x now will give us, okay, you have to add from that, that would be negative 3x, then plus 2, all over 2 times 1 minus x raised to the positive 1. All right, question? After the illustration for product derivative, okay. We differentiate y. The derivative of y with respect to x now will be the first. That will be 3 minus 2x squared. Differentiate the second. Derivative for that will be 2x. The derivative constant is 0. Okay, plus the second term. x squared minus 1. Differentiate the first. The first is your exponent. That would be 2 times your base. Times 3 minus 2x. Multiply it by the derivative of your base. Derivative of constant 0. Derivative for that will be negative 2. Times negative 2. Okay. Now still in algebra. That will be now 2x. Times 3 minus 2x. Raise for then a plus. Okay. 2 times 2. Or negative times positive will be minus. Times 4. Okay. Minus 4. Then multiply it by x squared minus 1 times 3 minus 2x. Now by we will do factorization. Factoring, algebra. That the derivative now of we are with respect to x will be, we are going now to bring it out, this one, ito eh. Dapat pa natin tayo natin yun eh. I have to bring it out 3 minus 2x. Then I set a multiplier. I have to bring it down to also. Inuwal ko mag-bite ito. Now there is x there, x. Then I said that 3 minus 2x because 1 plus 1 will be squared there. 2 times x will be 2x. That would be squared here. 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 will be squared. Then minus, okay. 2 because 2 times 2 will be 4. Alright, then multiply it by x squared minus 1. Then what did it end? Bracket. Okay, simplify it further. The derivative now of y with respect to x is still 2 times 3 minus 2x multiplied by, when we multiply this one, that would be 3 times x, you will give us 3x. Uh, multiply, that would be minus 2x squared. Multiply, that would be minus 2x squared. Negative times negative will be plus 2. Bracket. Okay. Still. Uh, 2 times 3 minus 2x Okay, combine a similar value That would be uh, You have to have That would be negative 4x squared uh, Plus uh, 3x Then uh, Plus 2 Okay, now we will leave now that That would be our final solution Or, if you want to continue By algebra That the derivative of x with respect to Y with respect to x now that You multiply that would be 6 Multiply it, that would be minus 4x. Then, okay, that would be negative 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay. Question? 